In this tutorial, you will learn how to create headings and tables of contents in Microsoft Word. To set up the table of contents, we will first head to the References tab and select the first option, Table of Contents. From the drop-down list, select one of the automatic table options. As we have not yet created any headings for the table to generate, a warning dialog will appear. Click OK to continue. As you will see, the text under the Table of Contents heading reads, No Table of Contents entries found. A basic automatic table of contents relies on headings and subheadings to function, so we'll need to create some. I'm adding some generic content below that I can then play around with. A blank document will start you out with a few style options, and these can be found under the Home tab. Heading 1 is the highest here, so we'll select that for our Product Volumes category. In this example, we also want our Product Values category to be a Heading 1, so we'll place our cursor on it and select the Heading 1 option again. We may also want subheadings. In this case, I'd like to separate out the type of products as a second tier heading, so I'm going to select them all by left-click dragging across the first, then holding the control key on my keyboard, and then left-click dragging across the rest. Now that they are all selected, I select Heading 2 in the Home tab. You could also just select them individually to apply the Heading 2 style if you wish. After you have created a second heading, a new style for Heading 3 is now available in the Styles panel under the Home tab. I do wish to apply a third tier of subheadings for my example, so I'll select all product types and change them to Heading 3. You may have noticed that the table of contents has not updated itself as we have added headings. This will automatically happen if you print a document or convert it to another file format such as PDF. However, it is preferable to update this in our document so we can see how it looks. To do so, we right-click the table of contents and select Update Field. The table of contents will fill based on the different tier headings we've created. In my example, I would also like to number my headings. To do this, click on your headings and go to the Home tab of Word and select the Multi-Level List option. Here, select the option that includes numbers and headings. All headings and subheadings will now have the numbers corresponding to their level. We can then update the table again to include these numbers. That is all for this video tutorial. Tutorials on modifying table of contents or styles are available to improve the appearance of your documents. Be sure to check them out.